Do you think you can power a train car using only a battery, magnets, and copper wire? Did you know you don't need a motor to power a coaster car? Take the copper wire and wrap it around the rod until you have a long enough tube that you can shoot the battery through. It would be great if it's long enough to make it into a circle. The wire should be wound tightly together like this. And the part that you're really going to have to be careful with is when you have enough wound and you get ready to slide it off of the rod, you need to be sure that it stays perfectly straight because if any of these get out of line, your battery is not going to shoot through it correctly. Add four magnets and one brass washer to each end of your battery. Experiment to see which end is the north pole of the magnet and which end is the south. Then you're going to place the battery at the opening of your tube and see what happens. Let me give you one warning. These magnets are very strong. I pinched my finger several times experimenting with them myself. If you try to separate them and put them back together, you're likely to pinch your fingers. So be very careful and only use the four that are set aside for each end of your battery. The other thing is, it's very important that you keep these magnets away from the iPad or any computer because it could cause significant damage to our iPads. So keep these far away from your iPad. 